In case you missed it last night, we reported that during the last le legislative session, the Travis County Commissioner's Court opposed a bill requiring police to release evidence when someone dies in custody. We're talking about House Bill 147. As it stands, such evidence can be withheld by police thanks to the so-called dead suspect loophole. Now, this all came back up after the death of Javier Ambler. He died while in the custody of Williamson County Sheriff's deputies in March of last year. But body camera video of the incident, which you're looking at right now, uh, wasn't released for another 15 months. KXAN's John Engel broke that update for us last night. John, what did Travis County say when you asked who was behind their decision to oppose the police transparency bill? Well, for months we've been filing public records requests asking just for that information. A really simple question, what communication was happening about House Bill 147, the effort to close the dead suspect loophole? What we got back yesterday after those months of requests was a statement from a Travis County attorney saying that they'll ask the attorney general if they have to release any information about discussing that House Bill 147, even though a couple of emails did come up as part of that public records request. Now we wait to see if the AG will let it free. And this story has in many ways spilled over into the election because of a name that people will see on the ballot. We're talking about Senate District 14. Uh, what did the candidates have to say about this? Well, former Travis County Judge Sarah Eckhart was leading the Travis County Commissioner's Court at the time House Bill 147 was up for discussion. Her, one of her opponents in this Senate District race, Eddie Rodriguez, questioned her during a Democratic candidate forum why Travis County was the only county to register in opposition to that bill. We didn't really get a clear answer on that. It was a bill Eddie Rodriguez supported and hopes will continue to be fought for next legislative session. All right, John Engel, we appreciate your coverage of that story. We uh, look forward to having more coverage from you this evening. Thanks so much.